Tenerife is the center of the West in ancient culture in the western part. You're getting that subtropical, humid air, but it's still more relaxed. So what you see in Tenerife is more open land, great varieties like Solica oriscica and Krahuna, which are all very crisp, very mineral driven, and also there's a lot of blending there happening as well. now that it's our duty to be new generation for this amazing family and uh, we studied a lot in our childhood from grandparents and from our parents as well and they are really hard-working people and uh, love the land and love the nature. Fortunately we follow the same role and we follow the same way of our life but we studied more. My brother Georgi became Bachelor of Viticulture and Winemaking and Guanza is studying on the Master Level of Agronomy and I'm a WCF student. It's really amazing when you follow your roots, uh, but in also some different way and uh, to combine this modernized knowledge with this amazing knowledge we already have in the family. The winemaking is really interesting when you combine knowledges and when you combine the best practice you want to get for your final bottles. So this is our new vineyard. Yeah. <laughs> when did you plant? They look small, but they look happy. Yeah, so they are really uh, babies. We plant them in the springtime. And uh, as we see, we almost have the uh, four and five leaves and really like uh, healthy and uh, so when you first plant do you let them grow up all the way or do you 
prune at all, or how, it, how do you handle that? Yeah, right now they are really free to grow as many leaves as they want. So then, you're uh, spraying here today, but with some different kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, they there. are like uh, really beautiful stuff for organic growing. Preparations are really helping the grapes to be as powerful as possible and not to be demanding on the chemicals in the future. Some of them already have some cluster. Mm. Yeah, and we really want to have strong roots and strong leaves and body. And uh, yeah, we will take out those clusters. So are you guys always working this hard in the vineyards? <laughs> this is an everyday thing? Uh, it is. <laughs> what do you, I mean, what do you hope for this vineyard? I mean, four hectares of production, that's, that's a lot of grapes. I mean, what are you guys hoping to do with that? Wine. <laughs> <laughs> like when we are talking about our wines, we are talking about our places, like our vineyard. So we want to feel our vineyard into our wine. And um, so that's why, like, uh, let's say, like 95% of our work we put here. And here you guys planted Sitska, Krahuna, and you have plans to plant some more. You have some land left. What are you planning to do? The down there is a Sitska, and there's also, like, a small amount of Krahuna. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to have, like, we have there a small empty space left. So we want to plant there, um, so there's two types of Tzolikauri people saying. One is yellow and one is green. So we want to try there a green one because yellow we already have. So we have a, this, like, a secret plan that we want to grow our winery for. We want to have, like, 25 hectares uh, for the future. And uh, so that's going to be the size what we will have um, in bias wine in this yeah. case. So that's, that's, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big jump. What are we dealing with in terms of ground? Mm. Yeah, from, from this part, and, uh, there is the clay. And also in the, in the end, uh, there is sandy mm. and uh, partly stony. Mm. So really beautiful terroir. During the night time, we have very cold temperature. And during the daytime, there is a, this warm temperature. So this kind of changing temperatures, we are hoping that we will give this freshness and like crispness and acidity into the wine. So you probably have good drainage too with that sandy yeah. soil. And uh, um, obviously you have plans to grow. The this idea is, is we also want to have a, a like happy community around us and help them like uh, as we can. Uh, and we want to like show them that uh, you can live in this village and you can have like a happy life to doing uh, winemaking or even like uh, grape growing and you can really have like respectful life with this and uh, yeah this is a kind of like something what we want to um, see like in our neighborhood and uh, the guys crawling around in your leaves. Yeah, so those are actually very, uh, very nice and our friendly. Uh, the guys there, we love them because uh, they have this like a, a kind of function, we call them bioagents, mm. which means that they're coming here, they are living here and also they're eating like some uh, bad boys, uh, the, uh, the stuff. But it's um, it's a mother nature, so it, it is the balance between uh, these good uh, uh, insects and bad insects in manure, and they are doing that, they are building that uh, by themselves. What they and in general in Emirati, are you, I mean, do you have more white grapes, do you have more red grapes, what's the, what's the balance? Right now, actually, the situation is like that, that we have uh, more white grape varieties with the percentage, but also we have beautiful red grape varieties, which are more rare now, but I think more and more people will uh, plant them and make uh, beautiful wines from that. Mm. And in our winery's case, we have uh, two of them right now. One is Otshanuri Safere, which is very interesting and very nice to work with. And another one is Aladastori, which actually we stole from the Gurian people, like mm. from Guria, <laughs> but it also shows up interesting face in Imreti as well. Yeah. What varieties are we 
doing with in, in this vineyard? So right now we are walking in the uh, kingdom of Tsitska. <laughs> so we have Tsitska grapes here, but also we have Solikauri and Krachuna in a white grapes cake. Krachuna, that's interesting. What does it mean anything? It's, it's a hard, yeah. hard one to say. Actually, so it's like a very fun name also in Georgian. We, uh, it means in English crunchy or crispy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like an onomatopoeia. Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah, that's all. So when I was walking around the vineyard, I saw these beautiful little flowers. Mm -hmm. Do they have, a, they have a special name? Yeah, like this is like one of our favorite flower because it's kind of original from Euret region. And name is Sap of Nella, which means in English like to find it. Mm. And there is a beautiful song, a very, very old song, which is like Yimerechi tuchum hares chagivliya and uh, it means on English that if you pass our region, you could find like beautiful little flowers um, around. And if you find them, their name is Sap of Nela. And mm. that's, a, that's a beautiful song. Actually, in our family, we love to sing that song. <laughs> So, what should we pair this with? Oh, actually, that's a very interesting question. Uh, I mean, I would suggest let's try with a uh, beetroot leaves. Awesome. Like, why not? I love <laughs> Ali. You know, we don't really have a word for this in English. I oh. guess the best is kind of like uh, vegetable pate, but that doesn't quite. Do it justice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's please take Allah's love. Local to here, right? I only remember seeing it in Emirati really much. Yeah, and it also like is seasonable and we really love enjoying with them. Tell me about the pet nap. I love it. What's in it? So it's like, uh, first of all, we love bubbles mm. and uh, we decided to make it. And uh, this one is uh, from Tsitska. Yeah, that great variety uh, where we saw the vineyard down there. Yeah, and, uh, it's a very nice during this like sunny day to taste it. It's beautiful, especially on a hot day like mm -hmm. this. So it's our third, um, uh, let's say, vintage. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we are trying to do and to experiment and to study a lot. Ooh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> mm. Look at that. Oh, like we, uh, oh. this is like our, um, favorite wine which we put nicknames in it. Oh yeah. So we call it like Tsitsika. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a three different grapes inside um, Tsitsika, Tsolikauri and Krahuna. We are using it inside like 30% skin. Very aromatic. Very aromatic. Mm. There's something like the pet nat, you're getting some of that white peach and that kind of flower maybe from the Tsitsika but you're also getting this lemon lime mm. kind of thing on the nose as well and then on the palate, you're getting this little nice kind of scratchy, mm. like woolly tannin um, and a lot of minerality. Being in Meretian is at the same time really being really active and doing a lot of stuff together at the same time and uh, it also means to uh, to be like really serious and proud where you're from and um, we kind of like uh, three of us in the family we are combining these amazing possibilities to do everything really quickly like boom 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 and then 
uh, like experiment a lot and uh, our wines actually like our Tisca for example and our blend of three grapes Grafana and Tisca and Solico we really express the uh, indigenous Simiritan person because it's really crispy the higher acidity and really minerality at the same time it uh, shows us amazing white flower aromas so refreshing and then really serious <laughs> Oh, <laughs>